all the spawns in reserve right now. Today we'll be going through every single military electronic spawn on reserve. To start off, we're at the all in the wall by the mountain scav extract right there. Uh, we have the black pawn building right there. We have the black bishop building right here. We are headed this way towards the tank. And our first military electronic spawn is right on top of this tank here. It is a rare spawn, but it's worth to check if you are spawning there or if you're extracting there. Next up, we are headed into this uh, little shelter here. This is a PMC spawn, so these spawns are worth checking every time you spawn there. The spawn is on those shelves here. And there's also phase, uh, phase array elements spawn in the back here on this table here inside of this box on top of those boxes here but it's only asa spawns so uh only check those if you want this next up we'll be headed uh, this way towards the scavlands go up extract so we're headed to this tank right here so the spawn is behind the tank right here so now, we'll be headed to our first hotspot, which is Black Bishop, right in front of us. There are multiple military electronic spawns in there. I'll be showing you guys all of them. So we're going to enter from that back window here. And once we exit the room, we go to our right, to this room right here, at the end of the hallway. This is the RBAM key. Inside of it, there's a spawn right on the on top of this shelf here. Next, we're going to go to the second floor. This room here, RBAK, is probably one of the best rooms in all of the map. So you want to have a look on top of those shelves here. This is where the military electronics will spawn. Uh, I use the key to enter the room, but you do not need it. Uh, you can enter this room from the third floor. I'm going to show you guys where. You enter this room here, you just exit from the window here, and then up, right back in. So uh, you can do this room on your scavs, you don't need the key. Next up, we'll be headed in that same room that we jumped out from. On top of these, uh, of these desks, there can be spawns. Also, um, on the ground. Right near this radar thing. There's a spawn too. Next up. We'll be headed to the room. On the far right here. And there's a spawn on top of those shelves here. So be on the lookout for this. So now we're headed downstairs. Back to the first floor. We're going to go outside. And we are added to this building here, which is the King building. This is our second hotspot. So now we're going to enter the King building from this door here. And right off the bat, in this room here, there are many spawns. You have to look on the floor here. They can be on top of those server racks things. Right there. They can be on the ground here too, on top of those. And they can be on top of this here. As always in those server rooms, look around everywhere just to be sure they have multiple spawn locations, guys. In this room here, the next server room, they can be again on the ground. They can be on those server racks. So look out for these. Now we're going to go to the second floor. In this server room here, there's a couple spawns. Again, they can be on the ground, around here and around here. Always look inside of those server racks. They can also be on top of these things here, on top of this too. They can be on top of these tables. That's all for this room. Next up. We're going to go in this room here. They can be on top of those boxes. They can be on top of those boxes too. On these and on these right here. Next up, we're going to open this door to the next room. 
And where this uh, HDD is, there's a military electronic spawn too. And there we go, there's a VPX right there. This is one of the spawns. There's also a spawn on the ground here. There's also a, uh, a spawn on the box here. So we're gonna exit from the same door that we came from. Next up, we're gonna go to the third floor. On the third floor, you're gonna go right and right here again. At the end of this hallway are some metal stairs to go down to the uh, this garage section. So in this garage section, there's many server racks. So then again, look for these uh, little sections here. On top of these, there can be military electronics. Look on top of these here. There's a Tetris here, but there, there can also be military loot. On top of those boxes here. Again, make sure you look at all the server racks. On this section here too. Look on, on top of those things, as always. And there's also a spot here. They can be where this relay is. There's also a spawn. On this shelf here, there can be a spawn too. So next up, we're going to exit from the big garage doors in the back here. And we're going to be headed to White Pond there. There is one spawn on the roof of White Pond that I want to show you guys. So we're going to head straight to the roof. So on the roof of White Pond, there's a couple places where it can spawn. It can spawn right there on those boxes. Inside of this, on top of those boxes, and on top of this table here. So now we're going to go back down. And we're going to go up there to the Queen building. So as we arrive at the Queen building, we'll be headed inside from the, the main door here. And we're going to go straight to the second floor. The spawns on the second floor are locked behind keys. The RBRS key and the RBRLSA key. So we'll be doing the RBRS first, which is this one right here. This is a very, very good spot. I found multiple military electronics. Uh, we can see VPX right there. Another one right there. So they can spawn on those shelves here. They can spawn on those boxes. Uh, they can spawn on those server racks, as you've seen uh, on this shelf here too. I've also seen them spawn uh, on this table here, as we can see, uh, Military Jiro. Uh, we can, uh, they can also spawn, I think, uh, in these boxes, inside these, just like where the phase uh, control relay is. So always look inside these boxes. There we go. So that's it for this room. Just make sure that you uh, check all of the, uh, the server racks here, uh, the inside of the boxes, uh, the tables. These shelves here. This is a very, very good room, guys. I have found countless military electronics in this one. Highly recommend buying this key if you're playing reserve. In this room, there's one spawn. And it is on those shelves right here as we find this little VPX. So we will be headed down to the first floor. Um, there's a couple of spawns in the server room on the first floor. So right here, they can be on top of these server racks again. They can be on top of those boxes right here. And they can also be inside those boxes here. So always have a look there. They can also be on these pallets here and on this table here too. So have a look on these. Now we're going to exit from this door here in the back. And our next stop will be our next hotspot, which is the D2 server room. 
It is a room with a lot of spawns. I'll show you guys all of them. Don't try this at home. So here in this little section, uh, there's a couple spawns. They can be on top of those boxes here. Uh, they can be on top of this red thing here. Also have a, have a look at these, uh, these panels here on the ground. They can spawn there too. They can also sp uh, spawn on those shelves here. And on uh, this fallen over uh, thing right here. So these are the spawns in this room. So next up is the D2 server room, guys. So there are many spawns in this room. I'm going to show you guys all of them. The first spawns are on top of this box here and on the floor here. There's also spawns on top of these boxes here. They can also be uh, right where this VPX is on top of these server things. Uh, they can be inside of those broken boxes. They can be on top of these and on top of these as always where the relay is. They can also be on top of this thing and in this broken box here. I believe they can also be on top of these pallets here, so have a look while you're at it. Next up, we're going to go upstairs. So upstairs here, uh, there's a spawn uh, that can be there. Another one right here. They can also spawn on top of this table here. And in this box here. Always do uh, behind those servers too, because they can spawn in there, in these sections too. Next up, we're going to open the door here. There are two spawns here. You can be uh, on this little section here and uh, on those shelves here. Just where this relay is. Also, have a look on this section here. They can spawn here too. Next up, we're going to head towards the extract. There's a couple more spawns there. First of all, in this room on the ground... Around here and around here, there's two spawns. There's also a spawn on this thing here where the relay is. And there can be a spawn on the scale here, too. We're going to go further down to the extract. There are two spawns here. One of them is on the floor around here. And the other one is on this panel here. So that's it for all the D2 spawns, guys. We're going to head back upstairs. And we are going to go right here to the main section of the bunkers. So as you arrive here, we're just going to go down there. And then to the right, into the main area. As we arrive here, we're going to take the left here, to the power corridor. So this is where the power switch is. In this section, there's a spawn right there, where the relay is. Also right there. They can also be in those bottom sections, so keep an eye out for this. So that's it for the spawns... Um, of the D2 switch. Now we need to head back to the surface. So we're going to go towards these stairs here. And we're going to uh, go back up to the surface through uh, the King building. Just go up these stairs. And we'll be right back where we started. So we just need to go to the third floor again, do that same uh, that same thing that we did earlier. We get back to the garage. And then we're going to exit, but this time we're going to go right. We want to go to this garage in the back here. It is home to the RBST room and there's a couple spawns in it. I'm going to show them to you guys.
So we're gonna enter from these uh, from these big garage doors right here. So this is the RBST room. There's a couple spawn in there. They can be on this little table here. They can also be on top of those boxes here and inside of them. And there's also uh, two spawns. One is about here and the other one is here. And there is one more spawn um, on top of these pallets here. So these are all the RBST spawns. Next, we're going to go to White Knight. Just head through those breaches. And this one right here. We're going to enter through that door here. So inside White Knight, there are two spawns uh, on the first floor, right here. One of them is on this table here, the other one is right there. So next up, we're going to go to the second floor. In order to do that, uh, we'll need to go to the third floor first. And then onto the roof here. And through that breach right here. So the other spawn is in this room right here. It is the RBMP22 key. There is one spawn in there. And it's right on top of this uh, of this table here. So this is what completes White Knight. We'll be headed back down here. Our next spawn is beside this tank that you see uh, far away here. So this is a very rare spawn, but it's right beside this toolbox here. The next one will be uh, in this shelter here, in the field. This is also a PMC spawn, so if you spawn there as a PMC, this is a good time to, uh, to check these spawns out. So the spawn in there can be uh, on those pallets here. Then again, it's a rare spawn, but it's worth to check it if you spawn there. So guys, I also will be including the marked rooms in this video because technically they do have military electronic spawns in them. So we are back where we started the video, uh, right near the hole in the wall by the mountains extract. And we will be headed to the uh, RBBK marked room. So we're entering that breach here. And we are going downstairs here. And this is the RBBK marked room. Behind it, there are multiple spots where there can be military electronics on the ground here. They can also be uh, on that couch here. And it can also be on the tables here. And more on that, uh, on that area of the floor here too. So that's it for the RBBK marked room. So here we are back at uh, the tank where there's a spawn right beside the toolbox. Instead of going towards the field in the shelter, uh, we will be headed in the back of the train station here. Towards that building that we see right here. This is the home of the RBVO marked room. So as we enter the building, the marked room is right there. So this is the RBVO marked room. So just like RBBK, uh, the military electronics can be underground, uh, like we see this VPX right here. So just have a look around all over the floor on these tables here. They can also be on the chair here. So just hover around, make sure you don't see that white dot. So guys, there is also another marked room in reserve. It is called RBPKPM. It is in the bunkers uh, near the power switch where we went earlier. But I did not include it in the video because it literally never has anything in it. The key is literally worth nothing on the flea. And there's a reason uh, for that. It seems like it's bugged or I don't know what's going on with it. But it, it is not working as intended because there's, ne there's never anything in it. So I did not include it in this video. So this concludes the video. If you think I missed a spawn, please let me know in the comments. I will try to confirm them and make an updated video in the coming weeks or months. If you enjoyed this guide, feel free to subscribe and feel free to leave a like. It helps me a lot as a very small content creator. If you want to see more guides like this, like a reserve keys guide, uh, reserve spawns guide, uh, please let me know in the comments too. I really enjoy making this type of content. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.